Hi, welcome to uh, NX11 video tutorial. I want to do that beehive, I called it beehive exercise now in NX11. So let's have fun with NX. Okay, of course we start with a sketch, maybe on that plane. And I need two circles, diameter maybe 200 and 400. Then I need two lines. Maybe like this. And let's go for an angle. Let's make this five degrees, and that should be ten degrees. Let's trim. And of course, you can delete those elements. Finish the sketch. I will go for reference points. So go for points. And I want to have intersection points, yes, between that one and this one. Apply between that one and this one. Apply that circle, that line, and that circle again, and that line. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four points. Yes. Now I need two planes. Let's go for a plane and parallel to this plane through that point would be point 0.5. Okay. Now let's do a sketch right on that plane. Okay. That would be a hexagon. Go right here and you can snap onto that point and make sure you don't snap on anything. Okay. Now this point and that line should be coincident, not like this. <laughs> so first make this vertical, then select that line and that point. That's it. Finish with sketch and hide this plane. I need another plane through that point, that would be point 3, and like this, and OK. Now sketch on that plane, and I will, let's hide this plane, I will draw sort of a hexagon, so this should start here go, maybe don't snap. That's okay. Make sure there is no perpendicularity right there. That's okay, and over there. 
So these two points should be aligned and that point with this point and this point with that point and this point and that line should be coincident and this point and that line should be coincident as well. Finish the sketch. Okay. Now let's make uh, through curves because that's the easiest and fastest way. Preserve shape, alignment parameter, switch to sheet, select it right here, add another section right here. This looks pretty good and OK. Now let's make two extrudes. Go for sheet with that curve, make it symmetric, apply, and again sheet, select that curve, make it again symmetric, and OK. Now I need an offset offset surface, so go for surface, offset surface from this one 5 millimeter, yes, apply and from that one 5 millimeter, okay. Now let's trim this one, or you could make already with thicken a solid and then trim the solid, whatever you want doesn't really matter. So go for trim sheet. I want to trim this one with that one. Apply. And again this one with this one. Sorry. That one. Okay. Let's hide those elements. And I could hide the sketch as well. And those two sketches. Okay. And I could hide the points. Okay, now go for thicken. I want to thicken that trimmed sheet. It's always hard to see. So make it, let's say, 5, then it's easy to see. Okay, that's inside, that's okay. 0 0.1. And okay. Hide this trim sheet. So I got my thickened solid right here. Now I could extract that geometry and work with this one. So go for home, um, more, extract that geometry, this geometry and OK. Let's hide this one. Now I need a pattern. So go for a circular pattern. Pattern geometry. This would be a circular pattern. I want to pattern that object. Vector would be, that's okay. Point would be 0, 0, 0. Yes. And I want 36 instances and the span angle would be 360 degrees because I made an angle of 10 degrees right here. Okay. 
now take care these are all that's pattern but let's check it out these are all bodies so I want to unite them and then extract the geometry once again so this would be the original one yes so make unite go for this one select all the others and okay so I got one body hopefully yes Now I need a copy of this one, or well, I could extract that one ex once again, so I might should I extract it once again and then hide this one and yeah. So let's go for more extract geometry in this body. And okay so hide this one and make a copy of that one so go for it control C control V so I should have right now two one two bodies okay Let's switch to timestamp order back. And I want to move one. So let me check once again. There's one. Uh, they're identical, okay. So let's move one and turn it and then unite it. So go for edit, move object. I want to move this one, but not an angle, distance, and that would be in that direction. And you have to measure that distance. Move the original and make it associative. So go for measure and I want the distance project the distance, yes along that direction and from this point right here to that point right there. Confirm. And OK. Now I have to move it once again and turn it by 5 degrees. So move again. Now should be an angle. The object should be this body the vector should be this one and the angle would be five degrees that's okay associative move original and okay looks pretty good to me now you can make a union unite touch it with tool this takes a while. A little while because there are a whole lot of bodies. That's really amazing. The time it needs to do something like this. Same in it here. And after waiting a while, you can confirm, and it will still take some more time.
and waiting and waiting really I think a good tea was faster and I made it with a 5 degree angle so this kind of model really tests your computer somehow maybe it's just yeah you have to click and then it's it's done okay now you could go for a linear pattern so go for pattern geometry and not circular but linear this would be the body the direction would be of course this direction and maybe let's do three and the pitch distance you should again measure it and that would be again projected distance in that direction and it would be from that point right here this one up to that one and OK zoom out and confirm and let's take a look at the finished model again it takes a while but it's fast enough looks pretty good so hope you enjoyed this one if you liked it please give it a like if you want to see more please give it a like please subscribe to my youtube channel please please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page because i want to have more likes and subscriptions on facebook as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye and you can grab this model on GrabCAD. Just look for my account and you can download the kit here and the Enix model there. Again, thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.